Hello, all young people. Today we are in Merida, Yucatan, to bring you a project of the engineer Jesus Aguilar. Engineer, very good morning. Good morning, Abraham. How are you? Glad to be here. Very good. What is the name of your company? It's called GCA Proyecto. Excellent. 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 An engineer passionate about architecture. That's right. That's right. I'm a student of the Academy of Advanced Architecture. Excellent. What year did you enter? I went in for the start of the pandemic. I think it was 2019. And well, there we were until they let us out of our homes to take advantage of as much time as possible doing the best you can. How nice. What a beautiful experience. Very good, very good, very pleasant. You learn many things. Very cool, very cool. Excellent, uh, yes. And we are now here to bring this project to you. Tell us a little bit about it. Yes, look, it's called Casa Pernocta Iberica. It's about a, let's call it like a hotel family of pure Airbnb houses in the city of Merida. This is the first one. We're kicking it off and flagging it off on this day. And it is all, which was already in the second frame, according to the pictures of Merida Center. And then we wanted to give it a little change according to the context that we already had. Right? Make it. Make it. It really stand out, right? To make it feel like this massive block that stands in front of all fair houses so that it stands out as it should, right? Yes, because on this side we have modern architecture, we could call it, right? From the 80s, 70s, that's right. Right? From the 80s, 70s, that's right. And pure self-build, really. Really? Not bad, eh? Yes, yes. Yes, here yeah, they talk to the master builders. And then to do it right here, we wanted to give it a better design, right? We wanted to give it that beauty that Mary should have in all its corners. The first thing that catches the eye is the texture. What texture is it? It's turquoise. It's suku type pasta. It's four hands this, right? It looks very perfect, doesn't it? Yes, very fine. Unlike other. Yes, very fine. Very fine touch. Eh? Very fine touch. What a beauty. Yes. And how long does it last like this? Tell us a little about the behavior of the material over time. The finish tends to age very well over time. I think in about two years, we're going to see a little bit of a different character from the texture. We have, but... Here, what we are trying to do is to make a single in one go all the finishing so that you can, as it is called, present it well because normally you use. When they apply the finish, they do it in parts. They do different panels. Here we did it all in one go. It looks impeccable. Yes, here as in two years, it would already be having as those characteristic stains of the chukum, but already a crash. This is how it looks now, starting wooden. Wooden? This is cedar wood. It is pure cedar wood, natural color, and is varnished the same in transparent. Pretty tough for the sun, right? Totally. Totally. How nice the detail also of the geladera, of the lamp. Notice, one of the carpentries were on the part of the client. They have very good taste when choosing their carpentries, so they decided here. It was very nice. I would love to see the chandelier at night. No, at night it is a spectacle to see the whole house. That is, it has very good lighting everywhere. In this one. I wish you had come at night. <laughs> we can go back. Yeah, sure, sure. Well, now we are going to enter. Yes, for example. How much frontage do you have? Has 4.5 a front. Another 50? Yes. With the 450 a front, and the walls are almost 35 centimeters wide. Then you have about 380 to the interior, and everything expands up to 1550. The land. Then, when we open the door, we are accompanied by that masonry wall that was from the old house. We even leave here the, the gun maker she had to do decorate, right? And then the idea was that it would accompany all fair. Vegetation accompanies you throughout the house. If the land is 4.5 by 15 wide, that is super well used, eh? Yes, so that was one of the client's requests to take advantage of every space we have. And since it was an Airbnb, we had to focus on the basic and real needs of the project. And what are they? As the kitchen, bathroom, the laundry room. In fact, here, behind the curtain, 
is the washing machine room for the pool. Are you serious? Yes. Super well used. And in curtain, right? You don't need more. No, no, and so I did. I mean, we were going to call it, as a coincidence, this tone of the Chokan is very similar to this. The blanket, isn't it? Of course. Of course. Looks very, very, very nice. Yes. How well used. That is, we enter directly to the kitchen area with the dining room. All integrated. Look at it. The doors and windows with these shutters that also fit well in the composition of this side. And yes, definite. This stone is what gives the character of Merida, right? Sure, in fact, that was the purpose, wasn't it? To bring all the good things from Merida in the same space, right? To be an Airbnb because people, guests can come and feel a bit of Merida in this excellent space and as good this in Cota Paradiano because the introspective right closed to the outside, completely closed to the outside. Closed to the outside is that nice as Merida because these houses are totally introspective. So yes, this is how it is. This is the way it is. They don't need anything from the outside. The outside is in here. The original house, it started from what had been the street and went about halfway to the bed. And due to regulations, they told us that we have to keep the first bay, which is this space, right? So it was kept up to here and everything that is services, service area, was kept here in front, right? In fact, here below where the mat is, there is the system of the house. Okay, here is the cover. This is the stage. Yes, of course. Yes, now support to discover. We have a team behind the scenes. Exactly, behind the scenes. That supports us. Here we have. Yes, of course. Well, we have a team. Yes, as we had no space to. Hey, what a nice cover, huh? <laughs> to make an oxidable, that is, to make it look good. To avoid corrosion, excellent. Yes, space is very limited everywhere you look. Yes. And when we are in the process of excavation, basically, we had to excavate almost the entire house to make the cistern, the pool, and the biodester and dia. What is the capacity of the cistern and the biodester? It was 2,500. And the biodigester is 1,100, 1,100 lighters. But for two services, for two services. This is the way it is. That's right. As well as the cement floor. From Merida, right? With that white color. But it is. Yes. And notice this is gray cement. What I say. It's gray cement. This one. Here we didn't, I mean, maybe the budget was very limited. So we had to play with other, other, whatever options, right? For the flooring, we were experimenting because we were looking for something very similar to Tarazzo. So, due to costs, etc. We were experimenting and we looked for this solution, which in the end is gray, cement, gravel and dust. So what we did, we cast a firm two centimeters of gravel and with a roughing machine, we lowered that until we reached the aggregate. And now we come to the aggregate, we polished it, shined it a little and sealed it. Here, the gray cement is white because of the earth. Yes, the aggregate. The dust gives you that character, doesn't it? The aggressor. Yes, of course. In this part that is worked, there is nothing else. That is the only part that we intervened was this one. Here we did not reapply anything. This finish that we see here is the one we had. The only thing we did was to lower the initial finish that had putty three coats. We lowered it and these colors are the natural colors with the additives that we use here. Thank you. Very good. Here, regarding the program, we divided the space of the social area and the private area with this pool. And in the end, we decided to make these open windows in both spaces to be able to feel this. Connection between everything, between the social area, the pool area, the bedroom area that we have at the back. They hide, don't they? Yes, it is hidden in the wall. There, we have a double wall system. So all the gates are hidden on this side. Is aluminum, cancellaria, line, three. Excellent. What will it cost, more or less, per square meter of construction? If there is no... Already 19,500. Yes, yes, the theme here. By space one, and therefore by location. Well, a lot of the cost of the construction comes in hauling evictions. These are things that we saw at Tai. The time of the work, almost because this, that is the space itself, is already very reduced. If we had the excavations here for the pool and cistern, where we passed, we cannot have the material settled. That is, Alec.
the material settled here, then that means that we have to pay freight. We have to pay evictions, we have to pay hauling. Most of the evictions we were asked by the city council to be at night because of the traffic issue. Here we have the info of it, so every morning it is very crowded, so after 3, 4 o'clock the traffic was it already down and we could schedule our evictions. Another important thing in this part is that behind this curtain, which at some point will be a door with, with ironwork that will run all the way to here, a sliding door. Here is the washing center, here is the washing center, here we have the same equipment as the pool, and here is the main ball. A loop. This. This. Likewise, many things, the same limitations that urban development gives you. The urban development offices help to better develop this project, which is the permeable area. Because, I mean, we are still talking about a very small area of land, and we need to look for ways on how to drain the water. We have the pool area that can be considered permeable, but this corridor was decided to do so with 80 hockertoes. Water infiltration. To filter the water. Exactly. I kept the planter the same, the same detail of the stone here, which is very characteristic of Yucatan, right? All this stone was taken from the excavation, right? When we excavated the pool within a compressor, small pieces of stone started to come out, so that is what was used for the gut. The areato, right? And finally, how big is the pool? Many people ask what these small pools are called. What do you call them? Them? Many people ask, what are the names of? Swimming pool? Swimming pool? That's clear. I mean, this pool, from here to here, where the bunk bed is, is 2.2 by 2.15, I imagine. Okay, so we have this step, this landing, which is like an eye of, excuse me, a mirror of water, and the pallet, right? And everything that is the well, all the register for the cistern is here where the flower bed is. Here is the pool pump, just for the people who are going to live here, right? It is designed for a couple, maybe three people, of course. Going on. Then, the swimming pool. Well, it is part of this. What is it called? Development for the bedroom, right? A tell. The biggie now is asking for a bunk bed that can be put in and then come out. But it was decided that the bunk bed will stay here, and at the end it will be a sculptural part of oh, the pool, right? With this small step. In fact, here, what did they say? That they want to put a planter, right? To feel greener. Yes, yes, it's as hidden as you can get. Already arriving at this part of the house, we are greeted by this vault of cannon, right? That was a very insistent request from the clients that it should be like that. There were several options, which was the industrial type slab. Which other is the big eat and Babdilla the normal one? But you had to do something that really stands out, right? Because the point is to make it a destination for guests when they come to media. How tall is the vault? Here we have 450 to the top of the vault. Uh, how high is the vault? Walls are 2.6. And then the rest I will give it. How nice it all looks with the same material, right? Uh, yes, and that was the... At first, I'll tell you the truth. Things as they are. The vault. There is going to be apparent concrete. Okay. But honestly the same because of the space and the complications of the execution of the work. As we have trees here, when the casting was done, it was filled with leaves. It looked cool, but the clients didn't like it. And we decided to raise the whole finish up to the vault. Like all the finish is applied in one event. So there are not those joints, those details. It feels monolithic, right? It feels monolithic in one piece, right? Excellent. And that was the idea of the project, wasn't it? that they are two solid pieces that are what do you call it? That they dialogue with each other? But here the first bay, here you can see that set of niche. It is very square, very orthogonal. And here the vault is more curved and softer, lighter. Monolithic, <laughs> doesn't it? It feels... Yeah, it looks strong on this side too. Yes, yes. Here we have the stairs to go up to the roof. We have what is the tunica, the gas tank. The pressurizing pump. That is, let's say that all that comes are the services. It is all invested, almost, almost. The floor we keep the same gray cement floor. It is polished, shiny. And this one. And now we come to the part of what is the bathroom. 
and the end of the house. I like this gesture of how this elevation is respected, right? Yes, yes, that's the idea. Uh, no, no. That's the idea, respecting all those heights, of course. In fact, here in this wall that divides here between the pool, the idea was that it is at the same level because the same level of enclosure is the same that we bring here. But this one is already existing, and downloading it was not an option. Okay. And as well, for privacy reasons. Yeah. Yes? Yes. Yes. And this wall will fit you like three meters. A little bit more, right? Yes. There it is. No. As do you roll 90 cent? Because this width we have in 70 centimeters, 75 centimeters, and here we have $3.60 if I'm not mistaken on this side. Yes, about $2.90 you get this wall. But uh, well, well, this is a bed. Queen San, Queen San. This is the way it is. Very good size, I think. Yes. Yes. Sometimes the king size gets lost in there. Ah, no, it's a bed world, isn't it? How beautiful. Yes, then, at the end, we have this garden. And then, all this bathroom, open to the back. At the fair, beginning the clients were a little bit afraid because of the privacy issue. But it, it so happens that the land here does not belong to anyone. It does not belong to anyone. It does not go out to anyone. And so we have all this tree that surrounds us. The neighbor's wall is on the other side. Here next to it, I also saw that it does not go. This way then, we have all this joy to have this bathroom completely open. What a beauty. When all the green comes out of the walls of your house, leaves the walls of your house completely. And also the game of the tone of the chukan that combines very well with the green and nature. So we stole this piece of nature to complement the project. And the bathroom design is very good. I mean, the fact that they made the, the bathtub, the bathtub, they turned it into a sink. Of course. I don't think I've ever seen that before, huh? Yes, it was going to be complemented as one piece because of the same theme of the... that everything feels homogeneous, doesn't it? And how you raise the sink to solve the height? Because you bring a height of 40 centimeters. Not only. That's all. The height. Right? Here we have 45 centimeters high. Yes, and this one and what is missing. No, sorry. 40 centimeters. You're right. And that one has 50 centimeters of oh, wash. It has been completed in 90. Yes, to finish in 90. Exactly. And then the same. Key I died. But, but the... Which model will it be? This faucet is actually used for sinks. Look, that is the wash trash is kitchen. But this is very, very, very suitable for the project we have, right? I will warn you that I... I thought, right. Then it has to come out cold or hot water. Yes. And those plants are obviously going to grow and this whole yard is going to turn green. It will become green if the idea is that all the green, or all the walls are covered with green. And then we have the heater, which is an instantaneous heater. So it required to have a certain, that is to say, to be very much on the outside because of the extensive. So that was done. That was what we didn't think much of the project, but it can be changed later. It can be changed. Exactly. Yes, 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 yes. It can be changed. It is temporary. After, the change after. Yes, 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 yes. Of course. You also have to make some holes there for some vines to climb up. And that was another request from the client. He wanted the faucets for the shower to be in a different position than what is common, right? Because we normally find the mixer, the faucets, under the shower head. So the client asks for it on this side so that when a person comes, he she can turn on their hot cold water so that he she doesn't have to get wet or something. Right? So we thought it was a super, super practical idea. It's great. I love the gesture that they give them a batitas here, nothing. Uh, no. This is the way it is. This is the way it is. It just gives it all the candor, doesn't it? Do I have a guest? Sure. It feels welcome. That's right, that's right. That is, it is. It is. And in the back in the space we have left, we take the opportunity to put the facilities such as the diode register, the solid registers, this, so that everything is outside 
and does not generate any odor in the future, and also maintenance is easier. Ah, the lights are on those sides. In those details, as well as small moldings that we have, because there is hidden the lighting of the bulb, and, and really at night it is a spectacle to see how it lights up. It is already seen. The color is already perceived. What a great project! And how long did the work take? Nine months. Yes. Yes, yes. And how many square meters are they? Yes, yes. Sixty. Sixty-four, sixty-five. Pretty complicated, right? Building here. Yes, very complicated. But it was done. <laughs> Pretty complicated, isn't it? The management was very successful. Management placed it. Much of the problem of the work was the management of the materials, the hauling, all the times, the weather. We also had this rainy season, so in the end it delayed us a little bit. And many things we did not expect, like the excavations, and we had to change the machine or something like that, because we did not expect it to be so hard, so we had to look for another one, the same with the cistern. Uh, the the biodigester, the, the uh, excavations in general. In fact, this wall was not considered either. We had had already. When we started to demolish, we saw that it had this stone, because the idea was that this wall would go up to here, complete. But when we started to demolish, we realized that this one was made of block because it had uh, an initial finish. So he said, when we lower the finish, we will still find stone. When we saw that, no, we said, let's change it with the client. And we said, well, that's where we stayed. Then when we started in this part, because this was the first one that was the first one that was introduced, we went there and we told the clients, hey, you know what? We have this. How does it sell? Well, let's leave it. And that was a very nice detail. Thank you, God. Yes, the work as we progressed, was evolving. The project changed much now. I like it. And in technical issues, when we started this project, we decided to leave quite a few walls that helped us to continue with the architecture of the place. However, we could not keep the same alignments that we had before. That hurt us a little when we were aligning the walls. Yes. And we had to do a lot of work on them for them to have this view. Yes. Precisely the land is really already shaped like a trapezoid. And at the front, it is a little narrower. Then it opens up again, then it closes again. So this wall was the one we aligned and used as a guiding axis for the whole project. In other words, the whole construction was aligned on that basis. Yes. Then this wall here on the other side, which is behind you, is the one that is more irregular. Yes, this one was plastered, wasn't it? I mean, it was plastered about five or six centimeters, almost to go up to this one. I think it is more like 10, isn't it? I do remember it was a huge cake, right? To the left to the cloth of the stone wall. Stone wall. So that we can have on the side. Same aligning. Yes. We still align. We still align. Yes. And this is so that from the moment you open the door, you can see all the way to the end of the house, right? And you can see that symmetry, right? That alignment. Right. Because otherwise they wouldn't have had any numbers at 90 degrees. Exactly. Number 90. It is correct. Uh, I mean, you were not going to match this wall with this one. You were going to see the very uneven shape between each one. So this wall was aligned here. First, this was removed from here because that one was kind of jumped a little bit. It was chopped. This one was aligned and this one here and this one here until I think that here. Where the niche is, I remember something like that. Ah, anyway, that is very important. We use those niches to place what is the closet? So this would be like your closet for when guests come. Because here plays your multito and everything. Tezo, Amaka, Yucate. And on this side we have the niche for television. Always taking advantage of the thickness that we have of the monkeys, which are 35 or 40 centimeters. Because take an advantage of to place these. These two things and free a little more space that can breathe and transit. Right? Yes. Yes. I love it. I love it. It acquires density, doesn't it? From space to mass. This is the way it is. This is the way it is. Very nice gesture, engineer. Did you understand? Many congratulations. And how is it to work architecture from engineering? Well, I mean, you see it all as very technical. I mean, this, you know, the heights, the, th the heights of enclosure, heights of trade, everything you start to analyze that way, and the finishes, as are the thicknesses of the finishes so that you go matching each part of the architecture. Yes, that is, 
so that everything is complemented. I, mean, I think that in the end it counts. I mean, I did see it in my career, didn't I? That when you get out of the career, you are only going to be an engineer all your life, right? Or an architect all his life. But an architect can also go out and build. You can see the technical forms of things, right? And here. It is, the truth is, the workshop. Sorry. The Academy of Advanced Architecture helped me a lot to clarify many things because they know they are my schoolmate. I always wanted to be an architect. I wanted to be an architect. An engineer? Engineers. They are engineers. Ah, I thought you guys were architects. <laughs> we are all engineers. All are engineers. What is the number of architects? Architect present. I think that just for the title because this is pure architecture. Sure, you know, you know. Of course. Yes, in fact, now you see more, that is, from the moment of placing or building a block wall. You are reviewing architecture from over there. Did you design this? Yes, I designed it. Yes. Unbelievable. No, it is, I mean. If you have the taste, the passion, as long as you have the tools, you can do many things. Advanced Architecture Academy gave you some tools, right? Many, many, many tools. Many, many tools from how to behave the masses of architecture. That is the lightness of architecture. Things that is, many things, orthogonality. Congratulations. This is. Congratulations. Thank you. This is a work of first level. <laughs> Thank you. I really do. Thank you very much, Abraham. What are the social networks of the company so that I can contact you? Instagram and Facebook. Make it projects and construction. Thank you very much. Engineers. Hi. Hopefully, we will continue to learn more of his work. Let's hope. Of course it is. See you soon, young people. I hope you enjoyed this video. Follow the social networks of Los Ingenieros. <laughs> see you soon. And see you in the next Code of Parades Adelante. In fact, we are finishing it. Let's see. This is also going to be recorded. Uh, yeah, you know it. You know it. That goes. <laughs> well, we did struggle a bit with the clients, didn't we? They were very, 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 very much in their value. Heads about the project they were looking for and what they wanted to generate, right? So, we're looking for here the engineer. We were able to land their ideas because many people have an idea of how it should or could be built. But I think it is our job as a design and construction company to accompany them so that they can land the ideas they bring. Because in the end, this is a dream. For them, it is their money and we have to try to manage it in the best way to fulfill what they have in their head. So, when they, when, so, well, what they have. So the project, they were here for almost 24 hours. But yes, this, I think that for the people who are watching this video, who are going to watch this video, it is this. That is, they should always have that criterion, right? When it comes to what kind of art, architect, builder they want to be for the future, right? To see that this, how to treat clients, how to treat clients, solve things on site. Is this, what is it called? You always have to, you always learning on site, right? Always, always. And it is to seize those moments. And to future clients, as well as. You have to understand a little bit the two parts, don't you? You want something, of course you can. You have to talk about it, don't you? Projects are always going to change. The initial project is probably not the final project, but we have all the best aptitudes and willingness to be able to fulfill what you are looking for, right? Because at the end of the day, I think that it is our job, isn't it? You are. You, Abraham? Yeah. Why not?